Good morning, guys, and welcome to a week in my life at university. Specifically, welcome to my first week that I was at university. So as I do every morning, I did my morning routine, I did a bit of yoga, made my porridge, and I was ready to go. One of my favorite things about Berlin is you can cycle almost anywhere. Taking a piece of the UK with me. Although ironically, this bag is from Seoul. <laughs> I hopped on my bike and I admired Berlin on the way. I'm always so amazed by the abundance of bikes everywhere that sometimes I can't even recognize my own one. Anyway, once I arrived to the co-working space, I just went inside. I got some tea, I got some water, hydration. I said hi to a few uni friends and then I just settled in for a day of work. I have a lot of sanctity of space over this location. Whenever I'm here, I really try hard not to just sit and go on my phone or do non-university work. So I get into this mindset that when I'm here, I'm gonna be doing productive work. And then when I leave, I can relax and get on with my life. This morning I had a coaching session with my university life coach, career coach. I'm about to go into my first class of third year. Notebook ready, motion up. Ready to go. So my first class of the day wasn't really an official course for my major or minor. It's just a mandatory module that I have to do in third year. It's a preparatory class for doing our capstone dissertation in final year. But this is Minerva and every module, even if it's just preparatory, has so much work and assignments as I have now found out. That professor is a gem. This class wasn't about my academic content, so it was much more chilled. It's actually about my final dissertation capstone project, which I have to do at the end of final year. I do a four year course, but in third year, they already make you do a weekly course to think about what you want to do for your capstone. And it's really nerve wracking because this capstone is hyped up as something which is a culmination of all of your studies and has a huge weighting for your degree. But this was such a lovely class atmosphere exploring your values, what is meaningful to you, what you might want to do after university and how your capstone and research can align with that. I then went and got food with a university friend at this amazing falafel place, did some more readings, went outside to soak up the sun and did a meditation and then have my next class. I'm starting my first ever branding course. This is a concentration course in business. This is the element of business that I just find so fascinating because it's storytelling, analyzing how people relate to the world, relate to businesses, relate to companies. This class often comes through a psychological lens and thinks about how we view brands as people. We have relationships with them, you know, sometimes you're married to brands if you're super loyal to the same product. Why is it that I absolutely love Bramapol's donuts in Berlin and I so openly talk about them. I love, you know, I love their ethics, I love the flavors, I love their commitment to veganism, all these things. How does that relate to my identity and what I expect from companies? All of it, so cool. And this class is particularly interesting because it's a project-based class, so I have to build something this semester. I'm gonna undertake some kind of project and then apply different growth hacks and learnings from the class to this project and then use different analytical tools to see if it works or not. Very exciting. It is 7.40 p.m. and I'm finished for the day. My university has its own class platform, which we use. And for example, when people are talking, you can throw up different emojis over your face icon to show that you agree with what someone's saying, to show that you disagree, to show that you're mind blown by what someone said. Like it's such an amazing point. You learn through being questioned about the, all the readings that you had to do in preparation for the class. And the readings this time were really interesting because obviously it's a business branding course. And yet I had to read three academic papers totally unrelated to business. One about attachment theory, one about social learning and evolutionary adaptation. Half the class was theorizing how these could be combined to our perception of what a brand is. And the second half was breakout groups, discussing our ideas for what our project is, and then coming back and people sharing their projects and brainstorming, adding to it. Also just meeting the prof, it was just a nice class. And I have two more classes tomorrow, I've got my neuroscience course, all my neuroscience course stuff is tomorrow and my philosophy elective is starting tomorrow too which is exciting but nerve wracking because I've never done philosophy. <laughs> that course doesn't contribute towards my major or minor, it's just a fun one I want to take. We love taking on more work for the learnings. Also I think there's something at the start of a course, especially online classes where you can see yourself, you sometimes just feel really stupid. <laughs> like I'm looking at myself like please don't pick on me, like I, someone's just said something really intelligent and I really don't want to follow that and then you get picked on and you're, you feel like you're rambling and 
I don't know, the classic imposter syndrome of uni comes back. So I need to adjust to that and remind myself that I am competent. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. And after a long day of academics, I cycled home and I made dinner with whatever leftovers I had. I find cooking very meditative after I've been in my head all day. Just the act of chopping vegetables. I then did some yoga while everything was cooking. And in the evening, I just go on Instagram or I watch something or I chat to a friend or I call my family. And then we're into Tuesday, another heavy academic day. I headed out the house super early and pretty much the whole day I was in classes. I also went and made some revision resources from the notes that I already had. I really love Quizlet and Anki for making flashcards. I also use Notion for most of my class notes. And then I co-worked with my friend Duke and once all our classes were over, we went to a park. We went to this wonderful park called Trep Tower Park and we had a great conversation. I brought my frisbee and my kite and this was so much fun because I cannot remember the last time I've flown a kite if I ever have flown one and Duke had never flown a kite before. So it was this tragic process of both of us trying to fly a kite with hardly any wind and all these random German people watching us and being entertained. So cute. We do love to provide free entertainment in Berlin. Um, but I swear it warms my heart so much seeing Duke running with this kite. He just looks so content. This is Jade Boulder. Kiting is not easy, people. We need a teacher. <laughs> Make the video tutorial. Kiting tutorial. No! <laughs> it looks messy now. Run! Run! Hi girl, hi we enjoyed girl. our lives pretending we were kids again and then <laughs> that night was just one of the highlights of Berlin. <laughs> Me and one of my best friends Lara went to the festival of lights. <laughs> Hey guys, so I hope you can hear me because I've just put my laundry machine on. So if you hear some rumbling in the background, it's not an earthquake, it's just my laundry. I've now had my second business branding course of the week and I wanted to talk a bit more about the project that I'm doing. This is so exciting to me. All my assignments are going towards building this project and I've been planning this for like the last year. Honestly, just for fun. I don't know if you guys remember, but I ran something called the Unjaded Reset Challenge, which was something that I came up with when I was like 17. The idea was it was a one week reset of different activities on like a timetable that people could do to reset their lives, just based off of something that I personally do when I feel in a rut or I feel unmotivated. Activities like intentionally doing a meditation every day, journaling about specific prompts, getting an early night, waking up early, all these things really helped me. And this year I ran a 30 day reset challenge where I held accountable to doing a meditation and journaling prompt every day. The feedback from this was so positive. I still have a group chat of a few thousand people still actively holding each other accountable to doing loads of positive habits. There are cool Zoom calls where people do goal setting and it's just become an amazing community. But my goal with the reset challenge was to try and make it an app to try and make it more formalized. Guys, as you know, 
I have no experience in the app world in UI, UX design, but I love learning new things. I absolutely love like the challenge of a new project. So for this course, I'm attempting to turn the idea of the reset challenge into its own branded app. And I found a developer to work with. I took a UI UX design course over the summer. It was a Google course, it was really interesting. And as someone who's so passionate about mindfulness, but often feels overwhelmed by the meditation apps online. Like there's often so much choice and I'm so indecisive that I get a lot of choice fatigue if I have to choose a meditation. So the whole idea is I want it to be like a 30 day reset and the 30 days has a theme like gratitude or digital detox and you're given a meditation each day under that theme. You don't have to choose, you just do it. You know what to expect. It's like quite short, but it just holds you accountable to being there. And it's also combined with intentional reflection and journal prompts. So that's like the general idea. I'm not putting a lot of pressure behind it. It, but it's so fun thinking about the imagery and the designs and, and learning a bit more about back-end development of an app. To apply my learnings, I've done user testing and user interviews with people who did the reset challenge, which is so exciting. And in another month or so, the very scrappy first iteration of the app should be working. I'll let people who did the reset challenge just use it and see if it's really crap or actually good. And then learn about it, write my assignments about it. If it goes well, if I keep iterating it to make it better, then maybe it turns into something. If not, I am learning a lot. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you want me to take you more on the behind the scenes journey of building this thing. Yeah, I'm so passionate about young people looking after their mental health and being taught how to build positive habits. So hopefully this little project can contribute to that. <laughs> And good morning from a cozy, lazy Sunday. My neck has been so stiff all week from being on a laptop, so I just did yoga and now I am making breakfast. Today is so boring, but so blissful. Like I'm gonna do my laundry. I'm gonna clean this place up a bit. I'm gonna go to a chill cafe near me and start my readings for next week. And then later I'm also hoping to see some friends. And that's my day. <laughs> I make sure to call all of my family members at least a few times a week. So while I was eating my breakfast, I just caught up with my mum. I then did my laundry, and I think there's something so special about romanticizing these tiny moments of a casual day. Like, I feel so good when I've had a home-cooked meal, when I've bothered to put that effort in to make myself good food, when I'm an adulting queen putting out all of my laundry. And then I went to one of the most gorgeous cafes. It's called A. Horn. It's called A. Horn. It's right by the River Spree. And I just sat and people watched and casually did my readings. I started planning my assignments, but the sunshine was just so glorious. Thank you guys so much for watching this little adventure. I hope you have an amazing week. Bye. Hello, my name is Charlotte, Chinese name is Xing Xie, and I'm originally from Taiwan, and I'm really passionate about mental health. Oh, and this is so cool that I'm finally meeting Xing Xie in person. We've had, I've had like three classes, three classes together. Yeah. Three classes together. This is the first time we're meeting. Yeah.